believe on planes they should have a parent and child section. Because I said, I have a child. And if me, him, and his mother is traveling, let me tell you something as well. With these sections, you know, you know them just use a curtain for shield them off. <laughs> With the child and parent one, soundproof door. <laughs> you know, when you lock them in here. <laughs> because as I said, if me, him, and his mother is traveling, him and his mother are good on there. Welcome to the Fall Estate. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. Amazing. You, a uh, quick reminder, the Fall Estate is now on locals.com. So click the link in the description to support our work. And also you can become a member of the Fall Estate in a way, in an effort to support us by going to the YouTube channel there. And thank you all in advance. Very interesting guest today. I have with me White Yachty. White Yachty. He is an actor, comedian, and influencer based out of uh, the UK. Amazing. Welcome, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. I, I know a little bit, as I said, about uh, Jamaica. Yeah. And the only people I've ever seen that whenever I see a Jamaican person, are always black. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I'm glad you're here. Thank you, man. I have a lot it. of questions. Uh, first of all, what does Yadi, white Yadi mean? Um, so basically, Yadi is a name that you get given, but a name that is given to um, Jamaicans when they when they leave Jamaica and live in, in foreign countries such as America, Canada, and England. And um, it's, there's been a bit of a, a, um, a stereotype around the Yadi name because some Jamaicans don't like the term Yadi because they see it as a bad image. Um, because it oh. was, yeah, it was um, associated long time ago with criminal activity and so on. But it's, a, it's still when we go back to Jamaica, we, we sometimes we call, what we call Jamaica is not saying home. We say yard, so we say we're going back to yard. So it's, it's still not like it shouldn't be in a negative way. It should be in a positive way. Right. So um, yeah, Yadi is what people used to call me. Um, obviously, I'm white, so then people call me White Yardy. So the name was given to me. I never actually called myself this. It's a name that people gave to me, and over time, I just stuck with me, and I embraced it. Nice. And so the, is it the same as the N-word here? Uh, no, it's not. It's not, it's as, not like that. Nah, nah, it's not as deep as that. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's more deep. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I know that you, I, I saw a video where you were talking about you weren't born in Jamaica. No. Nah. You were born in England somewhere, That's correct, right? yeah. And then did you go back to Jamaica and grow up there? Yeah, yeah. So my parents were living in Jamaica. They were living there for a good while, um, and they'd been there for a long time. And then when when my mom was pregnant with me, because previously before me, she had a miscarriage. Right. So she was very scared about um, what could happen. And um, if I'm being honest, back then in the 80s, like the, the hospitals in Jamaica, even to know the area where we live, the hospitals in Jamaica are not um, very, like, they, 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 you, it's very high chance somebody they can not. die in that situation. So my mom, fortunate enough, she could fly to the UK and she did that and um, gave birth to me after all. And, and the great thing about it, I was a cesarean baby. So it's kind of a good thing that she did make that trip over. Yeah. So, you know, um, yeah. we did it. I was born, once the checks were completed, she was recovered. Three months later, um, I was I was in Jamaica and I was there from I was three months old. Really? Yeah. So um, your father and mother are white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And growing up in Jamaica, are you, were you your family the only white family in Jamaica? No, that, that's what people feel like. Jama <laughs> Jama ja Jamaica is crazy. Like you, you can meet Chinese Jamaicans, really? Indian Jamaicans. Yeah, there's so many different types there. Don't get me wrong, we are of a minority there. We're not of the, the, the mass. You understand what I mean? Right. We are a minority, but they're there because the history is there with Jamaica where like the, the original Jamaicans are more Indian people, which are like the Arawaks from a long time ago. So, oh. so even black people are not originally from Jamaica. White really? people, no one, yeah, you understand what I mean? It's, it's, so over time, like if you, I, I went to school here, so I know all the, I, I learned history about Jamaica. Um, 
so yeah, it, 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 we, it's not like we stand out. Like no one treated me any different being there. Oh, I got Put you. it this way, nobody ever told me to go back home. <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah. So in Jamaica, do the black people like the white people? Because over here, the black people hate the whites over here, right? <laughs> yeah. Do they Listen, hate them over there too? I tell people this and they think I joke. I only knew about racism when I left Jamaica. Really? I only knew about it because we, we, we don't, it's not there. Like, we, we, we are loving people, man. Jamaican people, like, like Bob Marley said, one love, you know what I mean? It, it's, it literally is. We, we so don't the really. Black people over there are loving people? Yeah, man, we love everybody. Everybody loves each other, you know, we get along. We, we all see each other as equals because the Jamaican motto is out of many one people. So, you know what I mean? We are one people at the end of the day. So, we, we stick together. Interesting. So, the races over there are not divided as they are nah, here? No, 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 no. No way. Really? Yeah. And, and so, when you went to Europe, England, mm -hmm. we, the races over there are divided, right? Yeah, we see that. We see that. That is it's evident there. You can see it. And was that surprising to you? Yeah, like... Did it, you it, grow up that way? Yeah, it was surprising to me because <clears throat> I, didn't, I didn't experience it in my lifetime. You know what I mean? Like we, it's like in England, you you um, it's very big over there. Like it does happen a lot. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like um, just like here in the USA, it's big over here as well. And they are racist people, and they they make you know they're racist. They're not scared to make you know they're racist. Um, I I get a lot of um, look certain ways because of how I speak and people. Who, Especially white people, sometimes they look at me like, yo, you're trying to be something you're not. You're not that person. Wow. You're, you're one of them and rare, rare, this, whatever. And you know what I mean? And it's like, I'm just being me at the end of the day. Yeah. So I fall into getting abuse. I don't, I, I don't suffer the racism because I'm not black. They won't, I don't get that, but I get abused for... They think you're trying to be black. Exactly. So That's amazing. Yeah, man. And so how do you, when you first ran into that, how did you deal with it? When you saw that the races were divided and they thought you were acting black, how did you handle that? Well, you see, the thing is, there's a few different ways because I feel like some people are not racist, but they don't know how to address things. So, like, for instance, if I'm describing you and somebody says, I'm saying, oh, where's Jesse? And I'm like, oh, he's over there. And there's loads of people out there. <laughs> I mean, you say, oh, it's the black guy. Right. It's very simple. Right. Some people feel like just saying the word black is wrong. <laughs> and they don't know if they're allowed to say, like, black boy, black boy, black girl. They, they don't, you are allowed to say the word black. The problem is, is some of them use this term colored. Right. That's racist. That's crazy. And when, I've heard that before, and I had to pull somebody up, because I used to, when I was working um, with a delivery company one time, and um, my, so my, my colleague went in before me, he was a black guy, um, he got the paperwork signed. No, I left the paperwork on the table, he signed it, then the, he, my, my colleague took it, so when I came back in with the parcel, I said, oh, did you sign the paperwork? He said, yeah, the color guy took it. And I was like, no, you don't say color, the black guy took it. <laughs> you, you, or my colleague took it. You don't need to, say, you know what I mean? So some of them are just ignorant. I, I, I believe it's a lack of intelligence when people are racist. Um, I, don't, I don't, racism doesn't exist. No? No, it's a made up lie. You think so? Yeah, and it's made up to divide the people yeah. in order to control them. Because yeah. while the racists are fighting one another over stupid words, mm -hmm. then the people who made up these words are getting power and wealth. So what, then, what would you call it, hate? Yeah. Okay. You either have hate or you have love. It's yeah. good or evil, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. And most human beings are evil. Mm -hmm. And so when evil people like to bring on trouble to other people so they can feel alive, they get life from from hurting others, but when you overcome evil, you're about love only, so you only pass out love. Mm. And you try to get nothing back. You don't want anything back, you don't need emotional support or anything back from anyone because you have perfect peace when you overcome anger. Yeah. Because when I was growing up, we were called Negroes. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a problem. And so in the South, they still use that word, but it's not a big deal. Uh, words don't have any meanings unless you allow them to. But do you think also it's, it's, it's in the mannerism of how they use the word, right? No. Okay, if I say, oh, get out of here, and if I say, yo, get out of here, there's a difference, there's aggression in my tone. Right. So it, it's, it's the mannerism and the way I've used the word, right? But if I had, if I had anger mm. and you say, get out of here, 
or mm -hmm. get out of here. If I'm angry, I'll overreact to you, mm -hmm. and then that way you'll be controlling me. But if I don't have anger, it doesn't matter how you say it, it wouldn't move me because it'd be your issue, not mine. Mm -hmm. Angry people are emotional, and emotional people are weak and pathetic. Have you noticed that? Emotional people are weak. Mm whether so-called good emotion or bad emotion. Have you noticed that people are weak? So you don't show emotions? I don't have it. But don't you think like, like everybody should show emotions? No. Emotions are evil. You feel so? Huh? I know so without a doubt. Yeah? Yeah. But hey, we don't know about that one then. I, 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 I personally, I don't, I don't see the problem showing emotions. Are I you don't, an emotion? I, don't mean, I will show emotions if I need to. Really? I don't mean I'm weak. Do you cry? If I have to, yeah. Wow. Yeah. If, if you don't I, if, look like you cry. I know, but that exactly. You don't look happy either, but you don't look like you cry. But see, that's the thing. You just feel like, said that, be weak, but then you say, I don't look like I cry. Right, but you don't look happy. You look like you. But there has to be a reason for it. I don't just cry for the sake of crying. Why you cry? If I see my children doing something happily, that makes them happy. It brings a tear to my eye to say, yo, like my, like my children are, are, are happy right now. Oh. So it brings happy emotions to me. So I will cry. Where do emotions come from? From feelings that you have. No, but where do the feelings come from? From what you're seeing, what you're feeling. No. Like, you know what I mean? So like, no. it's, it's, it's things that are happening. Your mind, when you're thinking about things as yeah, well. Emotions come from thought. Yeah. Right? Because if you don't have the thought, you can't have the feeling. Mm. You can only get the feeling when you get the thought. Mm. It, like when you see your kids, you get a happy thought. Yeah, yeah that's and correct. So that makes you feel happy. Yeah. But if you saw your kids, you got an angry thought, that'll make you angry. Yeah, facts. And that's because all thoughts are evil. Mm. All thoughts are all lies all the time about anything. No such thing as a true thought. Yeah. Yeah. That's why you have to overcome them. You're supposed to overcome thoughts because thoughts are evil. Then that way you don't have the emotion that goes with it, mm. and you be right and just do what's right no matter what. How long have you thought like this? Uh, about I've been growing into it for the last thirty years, so thirty-three years, thirty-four years. So I used to be emotional too, so I understand emotion. So that, that so 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 for the last thirty years, you you this is your thought process with this. Because I've been getting to know myself mm. and overcoming the false self. I'm not my thoughts, I'm not my feelings, I'm not my body. Mm. So but I mean, do you think there's something significant to make that happen? Something happened significant in your life to make this change? I realized that when I was emotional, I was weak. Mm. And so I didn't want to be weak. Mm. But I didn't know what strength was either. So I used to fake strength. And that didn't work either. Mm. And I wanted to overcome being weak. And so I got to know myself and I saw that I had anger. And when I saw that I had the anger, I realized that the emotion came from that because anger is, is uh, evil and it weakens you because it's of the devil. It's mm -hmm. not of God and it's not of you. So you say anger is, is evil. Yeah. But just correct because if you're angry, it means some negatives could come from that, right? All angry people are evil and cannot be trusted. So happy people are evil. So what are you? Peaceful. <laughs> peace was a sign of happiness. No. no. Peace stays always, no matter what the situation is. Yeah. Happiness come and go is based on the situation. Yeah. So it's evil, it's selfish. To be happy. Yeah. So you would say the word because should be you notice, peaceful. If you notice, you're happy one moment, mm. and then you're unhappy. Yeah, that's true. And then you try to make yourself happy, and then you be there, and then you're unhappy. And that's why you want to jump off a bridge, because it's not working. But don't you think everything needs a balance? The, the balance is to become whole, to be one, not divided. Mm. An angry person is divided between happiness and sadness, anger and that. They're divided, but a whole person has peace, and they're not divided at all. So you don't show emotions? I show emotions, but they're not based on a uh, selfish something that I want, mm. you know, something I need. Like... I wish everybody well, even my enemies, right? Mm. And so I wish them well, so it's like that. It's interesting. You, do you want to overcome your emotions? I'm cool with them because I'm, I'm happy with them. I, I have no issue with them. I know how to deal with them. So you're happy being angry and happy? I don't get angry a lot, though. But you get angry. When? When 
thing doesn't go your way or somebody say the wrong. I get frustrated. Wrong. You get angry at your wife because she never when she not do what you say. That's not true. <laughs> so what makes you angry at times? I don't. I don't feel like I get angry. I think I get frustrated. Frustrated is yeah. Angry. No, it's, 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 but that goes back to what I'm saying about happy and peaceful and. Do you want to have peace? Happy. Would you prefer to have peace at all times through all situations? Everybody or would have want happiness. That. Everyone, but if we're being honest, in a perfect world, that can happen. We're not living in a perfect world, and there's a no point you're always going to be 100% happy throughout life. There will always be something. It could be so small, it could be the smallest thing. You could go to the, the fridge to get, make some, so get the milk, and it's gone off or it's finished. <laughs> then you're going to be upset. So you are not going to be happy all the time. If you are. So, so if we even, no matter how much we put this out in there, there will always be one thing that can make something just like I, that. I, I promise you, if you overcome the anger, that would never happen to you. Mm. Anyone that has anger is in a fallen state. They've mm. been turned away from the Father. Mm -hmm. And every human being that's turned away from the Father is angry. And they've been recreated in the mother's image, so they think and act like a woman. Mm. Women are emotional and they live in their imagination. But don't you, all right, you see what you just said? Don't you feel like that's that's a a, um, a stigma and a stereotype that's been placed for many years? Because I used to think that, especially coming from the Jamaican culture, we believe men are supposed to be men, women are supposed to be women, they do. which is correct. But in the sense of men are not meant to do any show any, any emotions. Women alone show emotions. Men are the ones that are meant to go get jobs, get work. Women are meant to stay at home. Women are meant to have... This is always something that we hear as children. We right. normalize it. But is that not because we, that's something we always see, but is that the truth? It's the truth. But who's and truth? God. Do so you think he, God made a mistake? I'm never saying God made a mistake. No, man, he created I, that order. But in he made way? it that way... At first, it was the man, and the man recreated his image. Mm. Then he created the woman from the man's image. Mm. And he created the woman so she could be the, the helpmate. So that when you decide to get married or, and you need someone to watch over your children, the woman is naturally built for that. Mm. And, and a real woman is not in competition with a man. Mm -hmm. But these women today, they're jealous of men because uh, God is the man's God. And Satan is the woman's God. And the woman's God that worked through the woman. <laughs> I'm glad that your words are not my words. This is okay. Oh, whoa. Hey. <laughs> Jesse said, God is the man's God and Satan is the woman's God. Yeah, the God, God above is the man's God and the God below is the woman's God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You have a lot of women that watch this channel? Yeah. Oh, wow. That attend my meetings and everything? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man. Listen. It's way it's And then women, because they're jealous of the man. Yeah. And it's not them per se, but it's that wicked spirit that made a home in them, mm. which is of the God, the devil, right? Mm. It's jealous of man because he represents the son of God. Mm. All men represent the son of God, even when they're weak. And so this, the daughter of Satan is jealous of that. And that's why she tried to make men be like her rather than coming into the man's world. And because the men have not overcome their mothers, the nature of their mothers, they're afraid to deal with the woman in the right way mm -hmm. because they never overcame their mother. And so the women get away with it when they really want you to be strong to bring them out of the hell that they live in. But most men go into the hell of the woman mm. and it's just hell. Catch hell. What do you think is wrong with the blacks? They're just like their mothers. They hate their mothers and grandmothers. And that, so. the anger of a man is that of a woman, of his mother. And that's why black men act just like the black women. Mm. They overreact. They are angry. And the mama is their God. The woman is his God because the mother is his God. I, I've, I've heard a similar saying like around that as well where, you know, um, a lot of guys are... It's like their mom, like they, they, they have you the know spirit I mean? of yeah, the mother. They, they put their mom on a high pedestal and yeah. that's it. But like any man that has anger, just like his mother, he's mm. been recreated in his mother's image and not his father's image. Yeah. So, all right. Do you, do you would you have an issue with your partner um, earning more than you? Then 
I'm sorry? Would you have your your partner, would you have an issue if your partner was earning more than you, in a sense, in a better job than you, more financially, better off than you? And my wife earning more money? Yeah. No. You wouldn't have a problem with that? No. I would okay. never... I would never marry a woman that was educated. A man should never, ever, ever, but never. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, where, where the curry is? <laughs> Somebody will come out and <laughs> jump out of the curry and this is a prank. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> a man should never marry a lady that's educated? No. Why not? He should this never. This is interesting. He should never, ever, ever, but never marry an educated woman because she thinks she's equal to a man and she would never make for a good wife or mother. So you say in a relationship you shouldn't be equal? You're not equal. But you shouldn't be equal? You can't be. It can't happen. Why not? Because you were not created in the woman's image. You were created in God's image. Yeah, but the, the woman and you, in terms of like everything that happens, bills, this, that, you, it shouldn't be equal? He can't be equal. No? No. The man, if, he, if he's married and has mm. children, his wife should stay home and raise his children. But why and do you want an uneducated wife? Because educated women think, are on a big ego trip. They think they are smarter and, and, and equal to a man. An uneducated woman is not, she's still angry mm. until she overcome it, but she's not as on a big ego trip as an educated woman. An educated woman would never be a good wife. No. It could always be a battle. As a matter of fact, she'll turn you into the wife. Yeah. She'll make you wash the dishes, cook, iron. So you don't cook? she make, no. I, I mean, if I'm, when I'm single, I cook. I have to cook if I want to, but most of them I eat out. But yeah. I, I mean, I would cook, I would take care of myself. But if I were married, I would make my wife cook. I would never cook. I you would make never your wash. wife cook? Yeah. Yo. You too? No. You won't make your wife cook? No, if she wants to cook, she cooks. If I want to cook, I cook. Would you ever marry? I like my cooking. I like her cooking. Would you ever marry a woman that, an educated woman? My woman is very, my wife is very educated. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. No, Be careful. I, and I'm not, I'm so happy. She is yeah. she's uh -uh. very good. She's a uh -uh. midwife. She's very educated. You she, just got married? She, we've been together 17 years. Oh, we have man. two no beautiful. No wonder you're unhappy. No, I'm very happy. I'm telling you I'm very happy. Really? Yeah. I'm unhappy right now because I'm not <laughs> with her. Is yeah. she, is she? In I, sense of she's in a different country she, and I'm is here. Is she happy? She's so happy right now. That you're away? Yeah. She happy that you gone? No, she not happy. She misses me. Oh, she does? Yeah. Oh. So to my children, like my family, like, <laughs> I find it so crazy. I don't know. Like, yo, this is wild. <laughs> like, <laughs> don't marry an educated woman. No. Bro, like, I 1 million percent Does she obey don't agree you? With that. Yeah? We're the same. We're a day apart. Does she obey you? Who, me? Obey? Does it's not wife obey, obey no, you? No, no. My wife is my partner in sense of we communicate. <laughs> There's no I make her do anything, I tell her what to do. There's none of that. Um, likewise, there's no she telling me what to do or making me do anything. We talk and agree to what's happening. So we have a family, we run a family unit. What I, what, what, when we're doing things, we're doing things together for the best of our children. So Does she obey you? I don't know what you, what you mean by that, because I don't... I don't so, if, do you tell her your problems? If I talk to her, if I have, if I have issues, I'll tell her my problems. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Don't do that, man. No, nah, man, listen. Oh, no, man. Hey, man, I, I think, I think, I think you're hurt. Women can't you know? handle man problems. Jesse, I think you're hurt. No, 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 I'm telling you. No, I, I used to do the same thing. I know, but I think somebody hurt you. I used to cry on my woman's show. Oh, I had a hard day. Um, oh. Uh, is that the woman that break your heart? Like, so you're, you're how you are no. now? No. I feel like something happened to you 30 years ago no. and it's traumatized you so much and put you into this place no, now where you're like, yo. I know a lot of women that would tell you that I'm right. That hey, man. they had to overcome The uneducated that. ones. No, these are educated <laughs> That's ones. ones. These are the educated ones. <laughs> the uneducated <laughs> ones, yeah. No, to you they're educated <laughs> because they do no, what no, you no. say. They have degrees and everything. Hey, man. but then how you say they're uneducated? How you say? But they realize how right that women are married. Educated women don't make for good marriage. Yes, man. Mother. But I gotta move. I want to ask you some more stuff about what yeah, you do. Let's go, let's What's go. important to you? What's important to me? Yeah. Family. Family. Yeah, family. And, is and very why important. is family so important to you? Because that's my that's that's home. That's that's comfort for me. That's 
that's my peace there. When I'm with my children at home, when we're playing, when we're you know, together, that's me away from the entertainment industry. That's home. And so right now, for the folks, you're touring the country right now. That's America. correct, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're comedians, so you're touring the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's the difference between the UK and America? Um, I, I feel culture is very big. I feel... Um, over here or over there? But I feel like, but I feel there's a, diff a big difference where in the UK, I feel they are more um, receptive, re re they're more receive and um, they will take time to understand other people's cultures where I feel in America, most time Americans are more just care about their culture. They have no interest in anyone else's culture. So even at times, if you want to like try to explain to them about it, it's like, yeah, man, whatever. And you don't, that's what I find anyway. Oh, I see. Because in America, we only have one culture. Mm -hmm. And that's the American culture. I know. Right. And, and, and as a result, having one culture, we were one nation under God. Mm -hmm. But when you bring in all this other mess, these different cultural things, yeah. it divides the people. And we no longer are one nation under God. And so now everybody fighting each other, yeah. trying to prove that one culture is better than the next culture, and blah, blah, blah. So... Do you think it's best to have one culture or many cultures? It's not to say the best to have many, one or, or, or many, it's, it's, but it's best to show respect and, 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 and if you want to, but also if somebody's speaking about their culture, um, as long as it's not anything, if they're speaking about what it is and trying to explain what their culture is about, give them the respect and show them respect, vice versa. They will listen to you, you listen to them. That's how it works. But if you're just going to be ignorant to their culture, like, oh, I don't care about that. But hey, this is what we, it's, it's a bit rude. Like, why do you think yours is better than theirs? To them, that's theirs. You, this is yours. There should be no, like, oh, mine is better than yours. Shouldn't be like that. Are the blacks in the UK attacking and blaming the white people as they are here? The blacks here blame white people, and they think white people are superior to them. They always call them white supremacies. Okay, because yeah. Because the blacks believe mm -hmm. that white people are superior to them. Mm -hmm. White people don't believe that, but the mm -hmm. blacks believe that. And so they're constantly attacking the whites mm -hmm. and calling them racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the UK, action. yeah, in the UK, they we get free stuff and all yeah. that. Are the blacks acting the same way over there? In, in the UK, we get similar. There is similarities with that. Um, it's not as much, but in terms of, I, I could only give you scenarios in terms of like with the entertainment industry, they believe that the white um, entertainers such as on TV and this are always getting pushed forward for every opportunity while the black ones only get one and two opportunities here and there. So they do um, make nice about that because they want equality where it should be like everybody should have a fair shot at everything. So why don't the blacks do what the white people do, create their own opportunity? They don't need somebody else to give them an opportunity. Mm. That's a weakness. But then create at the same time, own, it's easy create to say create it, but if you look at majority of, um, if you look at majority of things that are created out there in terms of, even if we said platforms, most of these platforms, social media platforms, then none of them are run by a black person. They're all owned by a white person. That's nice, huh? So no, it's not. Oh, it's not nice? No, it's not nice. Why not? Because it should be equal. But the problem is, the problem goes back and stems back with your own people because if you as a black man created an app, a social media app, you probably won't, because just the fact that you are black, you won't um, reach the levels that a person who is white would reach because already you're going to have the fight from the white people that be like, I ain't supporting that black guy. And then your own people at times will be like, Eh, that's whack. <laughs> so you, you, you have a struggle. But there, there's no such thing as reaching the level as someone else. Mm. That's a made up thing too. No, I, I, because, that's a term, yeah, I, because I hear if you don't compare yourself to someone or mm -hmm. try to reach a level as someone else mm -hmm. and just be yourself, yeah. you'll be fine with what you have oh, because yeah, yeah. you no never facts. compare. And so why don't the blacks stop comparing themselves to whites and just be themselves? and be happy with being self and what you have and never compare, then they wouldn't try to reach the so-called level yeah. as a white man. Why don't the blacks do it hey, that way? I personally couldn't answer for them, like in general, because of 
of who I am, I couldn't answer fully. Have you fuck. ever wondered that? Why are blacks constantly trying to reach the level of the white man? Why no, I just feel like I just feel like yourself? people in general just all want to be equal. I feel that. But I, no I personally, me as equal. a comedian, an entertainer, I don't even care right. of reaching anyone's level because I don't. Right. I'm happy with myself and where I am. I'm enjoying my moments and where I am and appreciating what's happening for me now. For you. Yeah. If, if nothing else, if I don't ever, um, if I only do 100 um, people per show every day of my life, I'm cool with that. That's right. It, I'm not saying, oh, I want to reach right. 200 and when I get 200, I want to reach 300. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. If it doesn't happen, I'm happy with my moment, what, I'm in, what I have right now. I'm, I'm the same way, man. Yeah. If I have a crowd, I'm fine. Yeah. If I have one, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to reach any level. Do you tell the blacks they need to stop doing that? It's not my place for that. Oh. Yeah, that you have to, that, uh, it's not my <laughs> place for that. To tell them the truth? It's not, no, it's not even to tell the truth. It's not my place to speak and step into things like that. I, I, as much as I grew up in a black culture, right. which is the Jamaican culture, which is predominantly black people, I also know my place and know that there's certain things I I cannot involve myself into. So what I can only give my views on things. And if I But I, what would happen if you love them enough to tell them the truth? That's what love is. But, but then I, I don't know if that's the truth. I'm saying You do know, you're just saying I, I'm, it. No, no, you're saying you're not saying. to compare yourself yeah, to Yeah, don't anyone. compare yourself, but I get what they're fighting for is equality. But there's no sustained thing. I'll give you an example. Look at, um, I, I don't know the names, but look at the basketball situation with the females recently, right? The, the, the white basketball player, she did the thing with her face, right? Right. She, right that, no one said what anything. What does that mean? I don't know what it means, but then the black girl did it. All of a sudden, she's this, she's that. They're picking on her. Why can't it be equal where don't say nothing about any of them? Especially since no one knows what it means. But that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, it, they, but, they, but if it's a black person, they get targeted. They get targeted. And that's facts. So, but um, I want to know, why don't you love the blacks enough to say, hey, stop trying to get it's to not I don't, wait, 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 it's not, Oh, you no, said it's not your place. It's, right? it's not that I don't love. It's, it's just, it's not for me. To, why not? Because it's, I would want you to tell me the truth. Yeah, you know, if you, I'm here trying to tell you the truth, but you still not listen. <laughs> <laughs> I've been here trying to tell you the truth. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I told you, man, something happened to you. 30 years ago, something happened to you, man. No, What's yeah. her name? Tell me her name. I, I her overcame name. anger 30 years ago. Yeah? Yeah, over, no anger. Was it over a woman? No, it was over me not being at peace. Yeah. I didn't like happening. Happiness came and go. Yeah. I wanted peace. God said that we should have peace. Yeah, yeah. Not happening. Happiness is of the devil. Pieces of God. I wanted peace. And he said we can have peace on earth, right? Yeah, yeah. Each individual can have it. Have peace up on earth, yeah. So I wanted that while I live and not wait until I die. Yeah. And so I overcame the anger. And when mm. I overcame the anger, peace came. And it's been amazing. Yeah. It's been mind-blowing. Yeah. After a lot of things have happened. But it doesn't interfere with my peace at all. Okay. So I want to be happy within. I want to have peace. I'm happy you're peaceful. If you're peaceful, I'm happy for you. And man. you can have it too. I am. I'm good. Let me ask you something. I saw yeah. where you said, um, coming from Jamaica, I believe. I may word it wrong. Okay. I don't remember exactly no, how yeah. you said it. Being Jamaican and sounding black mm -hmm. is like being half white and half black. That you imagine that it, because. Mixed kids kind of catch it rough too. They don't fit in anywhere. Oh, mixed race people. Yeah, mixed oh, race. So, so basically what I'm saying is that, uh, um, what, what you're saying is that um, the fact that I'm white, what I saw and how I saw, yeah. I get it. I understand why people of um, mixed heritage, mixed parents, such as if you was a black and white parent, um, I, re I can relate because at times they don't know where they fit in either right. because they have a white side of the family and they have a black side of the family. Yeah. But a lot of the time what happens is that they, they tend to be more accepted by the black side of the family than the white side of the family. And that's why I say I can relate to them because with me it's almost like in, in the UK I am more embraced and, and loved by the black people more than the white people. Oh. So that's why I say I can relate to right. what they go through. It's actually a joke when I put it together. It's a reality, but it's, it, I, I do you say it on it stage as well nice. to express how, how it is. And that's me saying that that's why black people are nice people. They are loving people because black they will accept you. 
Of course they are, man. What the? Come in the on, UK? man. Yeah. Oh, not here though. Why not? Because but you have. They, but you see the thing. You have evil everywhere. Angry. You have evil everywhere. Right. You have white people that are evil. Oh, yeah. You have black people that are evil. Right. You have Asian people. That's what I told you. There's it's not evil. racism. Yeah, but there's evil, evil everywhere. Yeah, yeah, there is evil everywhere, and there's bad people everywhere. There's rich people everywhere. There's poor people everywhere. In every race, there is a segment of of that. So it's yeah, not right. directly black people. That's are not what nice. I'm telling you. It's yeah. not about racism. No such thing as racism. Do black racism. people like you? No. Okay. Some do, but most don't. Why not? Because they think I'm trying to be white. Are you? They call me Uncle Tom and all that. Because, they call it Uncle Tom? Because I won't be into the black thing. Mm. I just want people to be a right. I want yeah. people to treat each other with love the way I was raised, right? Yeah. And the blacks, not all, not all, but most don't like that. They want to hate. They mm. want to blame. They want to mm. have, they want to be victims. And we shouldn't be victims in life. Okay. We should be free. But let me ask. Yeah. So you say your wife is white, right? She's, she's mixed race. She's, so she's, um, she's got... She's got a few. Jamaican, Bayesian, um, English, and another Eastern European country. Whoa. Yeah, Lit I think it's Lithuania. So she's, she's mixed. That sounds like the United Nations. <laughs> sounds like a proper mix. <laughs> like the, the whole of the parents all met at the airport, going <laughs> different flights, you know what right. I mean? Connected, but yeah. And so in America, they accuse white people of trying to when they think their whites are trying to act black mm -hmm. or wear braids and all that, they accuse them of cultural appropriation. Yeah. Have you ever been accused of cultural appropriation? Uh, every day of my life. Really? Yeah, every day of my life. It comes across and it goes back down to lack of education. And, and for me, there's, there's a difference with culture appreciation and culture um, appropriation. Now, the thing about it is you can... Um, appreciate somebody else's culture if you want to. Right. You can um, enjoy someone else's culture. You understand what I mean? Like you can, if you want to cook um, Caribbean food, you can cook Caribbean food. Right. You, you don't have to be from the Caribbean to cook the food. If you learn to cook it the right way, you can cook it and enjoy it. If you enjoy it, if that's what you like, you like that. Do you understand what I mean? Now, the problem is, I feel like when you have people who take something from someone else's culture and almost try to make it theirs, like I am this person, I am the one, it's me, then that is a bit more of um, culture appropriation because now you're taking something from somebody else's culture for yourself to gain from it and they're, they're not getting nothing from it. But don't you think it's silly for people to be fighting over culture? If somebody want to eat greens and ham hock and they white and they're like... Oh, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. There's a different level. Yeah, there's a different level anyone. of it. There's a different level, but when you go to like hairstyles, for me personally, if if somebody has a hairstyle, you have a hairstyle. Right. It shouldn't really matter if it's it, oh it, that's that's from this or that. Right. It's a hairstyle. Yeah, as long as hairstyle. you're not insulting the the people are 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 as they say um, yeah insulting them or making fun of their culture while doing these things, then I don't I yeah I, I don't see no problem with it. Why are most people so easily insulted? Because we're living, we're living in a sensitive world these days as well. You, know? you have to understand. As a comedian, I know we're living in a sensitive world. And why is that, though? It was, hasn't yeah. always been that way. <sighs> why? Uh, all, only these people can tell you that. Too much, it's too much, too much rules and regulations these days yeah. on everything that you can do and can't do. So, I know, huh? Yeah. So much. being a comedian, are you concerned about that? No, because what I've learned over the years is to make sure that when I perform, I tailor my stuff to myself. So I talk about myself oh. or I talk about my family. So the only people I can upset are them, <laughs> their family. So, yeah, so you, you don't do black jokes on stage or anything like that? No, no, no. no. I, talk, I, talk, I just talk about general stuff or I talk about personal stuff. I don't, do the st I, don't, I don't like doing that type of thing. When I was growing up, and I grew up in Alabama on a plantation. Okay. And uh, under the Jim Crow law, I had to pick cotton, plow the fields, milk the cows, and all kinds of things. You ever, have you ever picked cotton? <laughs> no, sir. Man, next time you come here to the country, I'm yeah. going to take you to Alabama so you can pick some cotton. I, 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 you I, have not lived until yeah. you pick cotton. Yeah? Oh, have you ever plowed a mule? Plow, what is that? Uh, had yep. a, you know, hook up a mule to the 
plow. Oh, and let them walk with and it. Let them walk and I've break, done a lot of. Listen, in, I'm from Jamaica, so we we do a lot of um, agriculture there. Nice. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we 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 learn how to plant um, right vegetables. We learn how to like get them out. We learn how to do farming. We learn how to um, raise animals. We learn how to turn it to dinner. Like so, we we've done all yeah. of that. Yeah. Why did you move from Jamaica to the UK? So I went over there. Um, you know, I, I wanted to change just to um, see. You know, I just wanted to change. I, where I live in Jamaica well, is an area called Black River. It's a very quiet town. Um, Black River was actually one of the, was the first place in Jamaica to get um, electricity as well in in Jamaica. So it, it's got to be a history uh -huh. there. And um, what happened is a very quiet town. So a lot of my friends, when we were growing up. As they got older and we came out of school, many of them were traveling. Some were going to Canada, some were coming to America. So, so it's like everybody was kind of, it's very, there was no one really there. So it's like, right. I, I want to go England and, and see. So I That's went. That's why I left Alabama too. Yeah. To and moved to the big city. More okay. opportunities. That's it, yeah. So yeah. more opportunities and yeah, that's why. So um, when, you, when, you, when you get an example of having a white parent and a black parent and how that felt, do you feel, have you ever felt, felt not fitting in anywhere? It felt like all you didn't time. fit in? All I always, the time. I always feel like I don't fit in because um, of people's judgments against me sometimes. But the only time when I do feel like I'm fitting is when I'm around the people, like my friends, around Jamaican friends and that. So there is times where I don't feel fitting, but... What's it, that you know, feeling like? I, I, I don't care. Feel like? I actually can, don't. Can you describe that feeling, what that feel like? I don't care, no. Actually, I actually have, I, I used to care. Right, who you used to care about. Yeah, what it's not thing? nice because, you know, you always get looked on as not worthy enough to be involved in certain things or oh, be a part of something. So you feel like, what? But I learned over time that to disregard that, is, that's the least, I, that doesn't matter to me. That's right. What matters to me is the ones who do care and do embrace, do like me and I do fit in with, stick to what you fit into. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, in Jamaica, it, oh, do you smoke pot? You from Jamaica? No, you no, smoke no, pot? No, 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 no. That's a stereotype, man. Not everybody smoke from there. I thought everyone smoked. No, man. That's a stereotype. Not everybody what? smoke from that. Yeah, yeah. But Bob Marley, right? There's a lot. What? Yeah, but there's a lot more to, to Jamaica than just pot. Are we? Is it? Yeah, there's a lot. So more. how did you avoid lit, smoking pot if you live there? Because it's not. It's not. It wasn't even. It's not even legal there. Oh, it's not? Yeah, you know, it's not legal really? to have it. Yeah, exactly. So that's another thing is like people have this stereotype of it, and you, it's, but it's not legal. And that's probably happens to a lot of people who travel there, tourists go there, feel, oh, they're in Jamaica, they buy all this weed, then they try boarding um, the, the boats or walk past police and they get arrested. Wow. It's, it's, yeah, you're not allowed to just be smoking weed. Of all the places on earth, I thought it was legal. In it's a stereotype that people have put out there. That's amazing, man. Uh, Jamaica had its own language, and it's called patois. Patois. Yeah, patois. It's basically broken English, so it's it's kind of a little bit like how I'm speaking now, but more. If I if I was to do it, you <laughs> probably would only hear maybe two percent of what I'm saying. It's very. So you're not speaking it right now. No, this is more um, a media trained one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So so we learn Jamaican entertainers. We learn that when we're doing um, interviews and so on around the world. We have to understand that the viewers might not understand everything you say if you speak in a strong patois. So it's easier for us to, to learn how to train, to you know, deliver it cleanly and clearly. Right yeah. on. Yeah. Amazing. Um, you like sports? I do. You like soccer, right? Football. But uh, Football. But you call it soccer, but Right, it's yeah, I was told I was going to ask you that. Yeah. Over here it's called football, but over there it's called soccer. No, no, no. Over here it's called soccer. Over there it's called football. No, but we have football here. No, you have American football. Right. Yeah. And you have football, soccer over there. Football. <laughs> Let me ask you something. I heard it was a really big thing. It's so massive over he, there. My, my uh, producer, uh, yeah. he, he loves soccer. He used to oh, play yeah. it. You played in college, right? Daniel okay. played in, in college, so he really told me more about it since I was going to talk to you about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was telling me about big, how man. big it is. It's massive, man. Massive, massive. It's, it's, it's probably the big. It is the biggest sports there. It's the biggest sports in Europe um, in general. Um, it's, it's crazy. The stadiums, 60,000, 70,000 people every, every game. 
Wow. Yeah, and there's like, um, there's you have many leagues, you know what I mean? Like, you don't just have one, two. It's like loads of different leagues and they're all getting crazy numbers of fans. So it's a big, 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 big sport, big. Really? Yeah, man. And so do you play professionally? or you? No, just... no, I don't play professionally. I've never yeah. played professionally. But... Why did you never go? Did you want to? No, nah, you know, it's never something that I, I was. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I, I would play with friends, but not something I took up serious in my life. Right. Yeah, man. Um, over here, they are destroying our sports with this race stuff. Mm. The blacks are, not, are kneeling during national anthem. They uh, they kneel in England. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you about that. Yeah, they are kneeling in England. Every player kneels. Does that break your heart to see that? It doesn't break my heart. Do you think it's that's good disgusting? that they show? No, it's good that they're showing solidarity together and that they're united together and doing this. Whether it's gonna make a change or not, it's yet to see. But it's good that they see this that the stands of the, like. If you come to a football game, and I'm talking the British football, right, right? Right. If you come to the game and you're identified in the audience or in the stands as being um, racial to any player and you get caught, you get a lifetime ban from that ground. Really? Yes. So, you know, we, we it's, it's not good. And I'm, I'm glad the players are still doing it and keep on going. You know what I mean? Like the new, like the, that doing this, because it's just to show that they, no matter what, you're in a country. England is, is especially is used to be known as a very racist country, and it still has got a lot of issues. There's a lot of racism there. I know you say you don't believe in racism; right, it, doesn't it doesn't exist. 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 But the fact that their biggest sport, the, the ones that millions watch weekly, they're still doing it in front of their faces, and it's not going to go nowhere, is good, because that's the only way is to continue to let them know it's not going to happen. Really? I know I saw this thing called, there's a no, hashtag, no room for racism. Yeah, no room for racism. And what I don't understand, and maybe you can help me understand, Elon uh, uh, was created and founded by white people. Mm -hmm. It's a white country. Yeah. And, and as a result of white people founding and creating this country, it's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. And so the other people coming from different countries to an amazing country, why do they go to the white countries and try to tell the white people, you got to fit in what I want, instead of them fitting in with the country? If well, they don't, well, the if they don't the, like that, well, why don't you just stay wherever okay, they are? Well, the thing with the UK, and I'll speak on the UK in that sense, is that it's for England, when the war happened, a lot of black people came over from the Caribbean, a lot. Right. And they came over to help rebuild Great Britain back to what it is. They helped. They came over there working in, in the medical, working in um, building, everything. So they have helped a lot. You understand what I mean? Right. NHS, which is the um, hospital that we have over there, is called, is the NHS, which is our care. All of that is, is a lot of um, African and Caribbean people that work in there. At the end of the day, they came there. It doesn't matter. They're not telling you what to do, but it's, it's what not to do. But they don't have a right to they, tell you, somebody you, in their own home what they can and cannot do. Yeah, but do. You, you don't, you don't. If you, Why if don't you, they if move if back you, to where you, you come from? It goes back to what you're saying. If you're angry against somebody because of the color of their skin, right? If you have hate towards somebody because of the color of their skin, is that right? But it seems as though the... The, the, the blacks have more anger toward the whites than the whites have toward the blacks. I think it, it works because both ways. Because the whites have been trying to appease them. They give them everything they want. They want affirmative action. They want free stuff. They want this and that. The white people say, okay, you can have it. You can have it. When would enough be enough for the blacks? Uh, see, I don't, I, I don't really know about over here. I mean, there might be a difference with America and the uh -huh. UK in the sense of things like that. But... At the end of the day, like I said previously, I think it's just we just all want to be equal people in this world. But they're asking for something. No one can make you equal. That's a dumb no, idea. No, but, 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 but if, you're, if you're working in a system, are you, anywhere you're working, and you know that, oh, there's only one black person in this working environment, and there's 100 white people, but the one black person is at the bottom of the chain in terms of pay, pay in terms of jobs or whatever, that's, that's not right, is it? They are not the only person at the bottom. There are other people down there with them too. Yeah, but if they are at the bottom, they're the last. If they they, they had to but act how somebody. would they know that though? No, but I'm just saying because of how they they're treated. They would assume that. No, how people are tre treated. You don't feel like you have ever 
ever um, been judged by the color of your skin? I might have been because over here the blacks act so bad. Not the and the white are, people okay. are afraid of them, yeah. right? So they may be thinking all blacks are like that until they get to know me or know other blacks who are not like that. Mm -hmm. So they may think that because of the, the majority of blacks being out of control, and you don't know when you're going to be a nice black, right? But then you, and, don't you feel like there's, there's a lot of white people out of control too? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a so lot. It, it works 50 But the blacks then. are leading the way to destruction. But, but then you could say that, but then there's a lot of... Um, I know where this conversation will go if we start it, but we could say that with a lot of these, these white shootings that you're seeing in schools, the shooters are white. But the blacks are doing it every day. They're committing mass shootings. And that's why I said I knew where the conversation yeah, would go. Yeah, they're committing mass shootings every day in the black communities. I hear what you're saying. Uh-huh. What I'm saying is that you, you, they, they, it's the whole thing of it happens in everywhere. I know, but... It's too, for the number of blacks who live here, they're leading the way in crime. You said you picked cotton, right? Yes, sir. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I feel like that's why a lot of black people won't like you because of that. Because I'm free? Not say, no, for saying stuff like that, that it was amazing to pick cotton. It was. But why was it? We earned a living, we were independent. We didn't have to be the white man for anything. We didn't blame. We bought land. We, uh, they taught the children trades. And some went to college if they wanted to go. Black people were building universities. They were free then because they were earning their way. They weren't begging and blaming. Wouldn't you want to be loved by more of the black people? What? Wouldn't you want to be loved by more of the black people than the white people? I don't want to be loved by anyone. No? It doesn't matter. You don't care? No, I, I, I love them. I don't need them to love me. So you do love black people? I love all, yes, I love black people. I, okay. That's why I'm trying to wake them up. I'm telling them to stop identifying with color, stop blaming other people for their failure, mm. forgive their mothers for turning them away from their fathers, mm. and forgive the father for not protecting them from the mother, so that God can forgive them and that anger will disappear and they'll treat everybody the same way. But not and everybody's going to treat them the they same don't, way. They won't need that. But it will. They no. will need it. Because no, if you because go places, if, if, if you go, let me tell you something, if you go certain places, uh, even today, you go to certain places, you will be judged based on the color of your skin, no matter how peaceful you are inside. But how would I know that? And why would I care? Because of how they treat you. They might spit in your coffee before they give it to you. But how would I know that? You won't, but that just knowing that ha could ha be happening to you based on the color of your skin. This is why these people... But you people... don't know that. You assume that. No, man. You, you trust me. People treat you different, man. I'm sure they do. I'm people sure treat they you do. different. Somebody but... won't open a door for you because just based on the color of your skin. And I don't need them to open the door. I open myself. I know, but they will... All right. So then we don't have equality. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't need equality. I'm one. I'm whole. I don't need somebody else to somebody give me... Somebody really hurt you, you know? <laughs> No. Somebody, I bet there's I got to ask you this because they told me we ran out of time. All right, go on. So I was talking about the kneeling thing, right? Yeah. Uh, at the events. Yeah. And there was a black athlete who did not yeah. kneel, a guy by the name Wilford Zaha. Oh, yeah, Zaha. Zaha. Uh, did you respect him for not kneeling? No, I actually know him as well. Oh, I, you know him? I actually know him. Um, but look, wasn't it cool that at least one black person stood listen, up for what is like right? I'm saying, yeah, everybody have their own choice in life to do what they want to do. Right. Right? If he decides not to do that, <laughs> cool. But at the same time, it's a bit like your whole other, your, all your other teammates are doing it. Right? I, I cannot remember. There was a reason why they didn't do it, and there was another guy that didn't do it as well, Ivan Tony, and I know him as well. There was a reason why they both didn't do it at the time. And I, I cannot remember the reason right now. If I did, I wish I did so I could say it. I might have to do a research and right. get it sent over to you. Oh, okay. But I remember there was a reason why they did it. Um, but, but did you respect him for not following No, I think the, he should have. I think he should have done it. Did you respect him for not following the crowd but being willing to stand alone? No, I, I think he should have done what everybody else is doing. Oh, so you think that he should have followed the crowd? Not say follow the crowd. He should have done what everyone else is doing. Why? Because you know what, they stand, what, they, what it stands but for. But he doesn't, maybe he doesn't agree with that. 
Okay. And he's but, willing but to the, stand alone. Maybe. Because most people are so weak, they'll follow the crowd yeah. because they can't stand alone. Okay. Do you respect a person that follow the crowd or one that stands alone? No, I do. I do. I like people that do stand alone. Yeah. But it, yeah, it has to also be something about what you're doing as well, right? If you're gonna follow a crowd, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna stand alone, alone against what you know is is humanity, what is right. But he didn't think that was right. I don't know why he did it, but yeah. did you know that 99.999.999% of the time, 999.99% mm -hmm. the crowd is wrong? Yeah. Always. It's that one that stands alone that's right. The crowd is always you that one? wrong. And then weak people, are, because they're emotional, weak people, emotional people control other emotional people. Yeah. Because if one kneel, the other emotional person going to look, oh, they're kneeling, and they'll have to kneel because When's the last time you cry? When the last time I cried? Yeah. That's a good question. Yeah, I think you need a good uh, cry. You do? <laughs> I think you need to let it out, man. I feel like, I feel like you need to just sit down and let it out. I feel you have all this, this I, I feel you have so much build up inside of you. I know. You need to just. <sighs> I remember I was, uh, my, my great grandkid came to save me for a while. Yeah. And he is so smart. And, so, and I remember one day he and I was having a talk, mm. and it was so wise what he was saying as a kid. Most kids do, right? Yeah. I felt joy for him that he was so smart, and I was hoping nobody destroy that, take yeah. that away from him. So maybe that, and that's like, maybe that's the last time. Okay. But I got to ask you this. Yeah, yeah. In 2021, there was three high-profile black athlete who received the so-called racial abuse after they failed their team. You remember that? They didn't fail their team. After they, they said they failed their team. That's what the media puts out. Oh, they didn't fail their team? They failed the team win, to win a championship okay. or something like that? That's what, the, that's, that's what the media puts out. So what happened? They missed their penalties, right? All three of them. Oh missed, yeah. All three of them missed their penalty, and it cost them the the, the Europe um, the, the the cup. I think yeah, the Euro Cup, right? Yeah. Now it goes back to what I said to you earlier that this is where we just want equality. England got knocked out of the World Cup, the last World Cup, right? And their captain, the white Harry Kane, missed a penalty that could have carried us. And they were black, right? The, the, the three, the three in, tw in 2021, they were black. They were black. Okay. Right. They received so much racial abuse. They were cussed about the color of their skin. They were told to go back home. They said you shouldn't represent our country. <laughs> All of these things. Right. That's racist. No. Harry Kane, the white Englishman, captain of the English team in the World Cup that just ended in December, in yeah, November, yeah, December, missed a penalty, and received zero. He didn't, he didn't receive a report saying, failed, Harry Kane, failed. He didn't receive that. That goes back to what I'm saying. And you think all that's people racism? want is equality. Of course, because if, yeah. if that was one more of those black players that missed that penalty again, right. it, the media would be pasted in everywhere. It's facts. It shows. If you can't you, see that, That's why? not racist. You know what that is? Go on. They take your football too seriously. Nah, man. That, that's just showing you what happens. Football ain't that important. You know? Listen, I'll show you. Let me ask you this. One of those guys went on, from what I read and heard, that one of those guys, those black guys, went and joined another team or something. Wait, or another, I don't know if they call it team. Soccer. Yeah, which, which, yeah. He um, went to soccer? Uh, the soccer, he hasn't missed Oh, yeah, soccer. Oh, he plays soccer. One of the players, he, he plays for missed. my team. Right, he, he plays for my team, since. the team that I support, Arsenal. He hasn't missed a penalty since then. Right. Right. So I, that made I, him better then. But it's not saying it made him better. He just know that he's showing, he, he's basically kicking racism, showing them that, look, see, watch me now. But they still, they still put the white guy forward to take the penalty. I'll show you another example. I know, I know you got, you're running out of time, you got things there. Uh. In England, there's a player called Raheem Sterling, all right? And there's a player called um, Phil, I think it's Phil Foden. Yeah, Phil Foden. Phil Foden bought his mama house, a nice big house, right? And it was in the papers. Young footballer proudly bought his mom. He white? Yeah. Okay. Young footballer proudly bought his mom a house. Magnificent. Raheem Sterling bought his mama, but no, Raheem Sterling bought a car or something like that. 
flashy footballer. <laughs> you see the difference? Why is that? Why, why, they, why they have to write the, 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 the tabla is different because he's black? They, that's what I'm trying to say. So there is something against them. There's racism there. So as much as you would say racism don't exist, that's cool. I do believe, and I, the only part I would agree maybe uh, to a bit with what you're saying, is they, there's a lot of segregation that is formed off of these things, that people are being segregated yeah. a lot more. And the media it. plays into this, yes. where they push things to keep us segregated yeah. because they don't want us to become one people. They are, that's 100% true. Yeah. But when you would say stuff that racism doesn't exist, that is also going to help people get angry. You're, so you're going to fuel people's anger. Um, don't you, when you really, really think about it, I do. When you really think about it, don't you think it's silly that human beings are fighting over race? Doesn't it just sound like silly that human beings fight over different colors and yeah. race? Look, it's like a waste of air. I understand that. And, 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 don't you see it? And, and, and um, it's not said <sighs> silly that they fight no racism. I don't think they fight no racism. I think it's, it's fighting against racism. That's what I think. I don't, don't think they're say, fighting for no, racism. No, they fight. One try to be better than the other. Uh, me personally, I think it's more fighting against the racism. So they, they're fighting for the racism to come to an end, to stop it. So we're not... But all they're doing is creating more so-called mm. division. But who creates it? The people that are fighting, trying to make someone else act like them. The white people are creating it. What? Uh, no wonder the white people threw you out of their race. I know. Oh, I know. No wonder black people threw out of their race. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> I'm just saying it. Like. So listen, um, hey. real fast, and then I yeah. put you on the hot seat. All right. <laughs> you know who Donald Tr the Great White Hope is? Is that a wheel or something? Like the, a great, is that a shark, right? Great, the Great White, White Hope? Was that a wheel? No, Donald Trump. I know who Donald Trump is, but I don't know about no great white hope. That's Donald Trump. Okay. Would you vote for him? I'm not, I'm not American. If you were American? Nope. Why not? I wouldn't vote. I, Are you serious? Let me tell you something, yeah. Are you serious? I am serious. You see, you see, you no, see. No, you can tell me after I turn the cameras no, on. No, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see the, the, this, the, the government. This is a, this is a whole other option. But you see governments, yeah? Like, they already know who's going to be in power before they be in power. Yeah. You voting, is, you voting makes no difference. They know who they're going to put in, who they're not going to put in. What a mess, The huh? voting is just whatever. Do you vote in the UK? Nope. Do they vote over there? Yeah, they do that. They do, but you don't vote. It's the same thing. You just vote for the reason, for no reason. Because are, you, are you more conservative or liberal? I'm a more person of the people, man. Huh? I'm a, per, I'm a, per, I'm a person of the people. Oh, you're neither conservative nor yep. liberal. And that's why you don't vote? That's why. Oh, I got you. Yeah. Amazing. So listen, I got to heat this thing up. I got to put you on the hot seat. All right, cool. And I need you to answer these questions as quickly I'll as possible. I'll try my best. If I can't answer it, I'll say pass. The hot seat. Okay, what is a man? A man? Us, me and you. The white population in America is declining. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> I don't care. I don't, I actually don't care. <laughs> Do you smoke pot? Nope. Uh, uh, dance hall or reggae? Ooh, reggae. Reggae. What is dance hall? It's, 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 it's more upbeat. So you have, um, you know, how can I explain it? Maybe like you'd say you have hip hop and you have jazz oh. or hip hop and R&B type of thing. So, yeah. Oh, okay. So hip hop, so reggae. Would, hip, hip hop would be dance hall. And then R and B would be R and B jazz would be like a reggae, I would say, yeah. So when you dance, you dance like black people or white people? Dance like myself. <laughs> True or false? It's it's called soccer. That is definitely false. <laughs> Which country has the best black women? <laughs> Pass on that one, please. <laughs> Does a bear shit in the woods? Probably where else am I going to do it? Or in a zoo, if I'm there in a zoo. <laughs> Should transgender men be allowed to compete in women's sport? No. Should women be allowed to compete in men's sport? 
if it's mixed sports. What? Mixed sports. What does that mean? You say if a woman should be allowed to compete in men's sport? Yeah. If, it, if they mix on both teams, yeah, but if, if you, it wouldn't make sense to have one woman on a man team and I'm, it wouldn't make sense that way. So it's okay for women to compete in men's sport but not men in women's sport? No, you said transgender. But, but that's a man though. No, but you say a, a transgender. Is a man. No, but because he's going to be competing as an individual. True or false? Yeah. Token, how do you say that? Tottenham. Tottenham. Yeah. Get, uh, get battered. True. Everywhere, everywhere they, they go. go. True. Tottenham <laughs> get battered everywhere they go. And what is Tottenham? Tottenham is another football team, and they get battered everywhere they go. They lose a lot of games. <laughs> so you must not like Tottenham. No, they are rivals. Oh, they are? Yeah. And who? who, who? Arsenal. Oh. Yeah. Is it ever okay to call a woman fat? Ooh. <laughs> in a nice way, maybe. I don't, but I don't personally, but hey, in a nice way, you could call it. Have you, you've heard of, have you ever heard of Black History Month? Yeah, I think that's rubbish. Have you ever heard of White History Month? Nope, but I'm going to tell you why I think Black History Month is rubbish. It is. Why it should just be a month. Uh, why should black it be at all? Black, no, black history should be taught all the time in the mix with the same with when they're talking about white history then, if that's the case. It should just be history. It should be history. Neither black nor or white. white. It should all be history. So and it should be an equal, kids should go to school, sorry, kids should go to school and have, be learning about black history throughout as well. What's the name of the football team you like? Arsenal. Okay. I got to ask this. Have you heard of White History Month? No. I started White History Month, and we're celebrating 60 years coming this July. You celebrated 60 years? Well, I started it. I found it. 60 and, years ago? And it, yeah, just coming July, we'll be celebrating 60 years of White History Month. Just you by yourself? No, the whole world. No, no, no nobody else now, did it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, getting around. Will you celebrate White History Month with me? Nope. You know why I started in July? No. July just feels white. Yeah. Have you noticed July feels white? Vacation, relaxation, uh, reflection, yeah. appreciation. Have you noticed that? No, not really. Summertime. Summertime. Fourth of July. Okay. So what's the name of your team? Arsenal. Will Arsenal win the league this season? We can. You can? We can. And will you? We are, we are in a good position. <laughs> I don't like jinx and stuff, but we can. What is love? What is love? When, you ha when, you, when you're content with who you are and where you are in life. Did you have fun? Today? Right now. I, it was interesting. <laughs> he was definitely interested. <laughs> well, thank you for coming on. All right, thank Tell you. Tell the folks how to get to your website or your comedian. Okay, um, you it's, white, it's White Yardy everywhere. White Yardy, which is... White, you spell it like, obviously, you, whoever's watching this will know how to spell white. I can guarantee that. <laughs> and then Yardi is Y-A-R-D-I-E. So that's it, yeah. Y-A-R-D-I-E. Yeah, right Yardi. Anything else you want to promote? That's it. Um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'll be traveling around America. I don't know if I want to promote it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get some people coming up like, hey, boy, <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? You talking about us? You don't want to celebrate white history with us, boy? I'm like, nah, man, I'm good. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm, I'm touring all around the UK. It's on my page, all around the USA um, throughout May. Um, so yeah, man, if you see it, you want to come check it out, check it out. Right on. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming, man. It was thank fun. you, man. It, yeah. And thank you all for tuning in. I absolutely appreciate it. Don't forget that the Father Day is on locals.com. So click the link in the description to support our work and become a member of the Father Day. It's a way of supporting what we are doing here. And I absolutely appreciate it. Don't forget to like, follow, ring the bell, check out the merch, and all of that. Let me hear from you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Cool. Amazing. <laughs>